Hello, Aqua here again. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Unleashed. We're starting this episode and we finished the last. Just about ready to create our second octuple compressed cobble. And I missed it last time when I checked back, so I thought I'd actually show it this time. You can see, as more and more get closer to 8, that's uh, when this gets to 9, then they'll all tick off better. 0, 0, 0, 0, and we'll have a octuple compressed in the chest behind here. So it works much better setting it like I have done so that it's always crafting into a chest so your crafting job never gets cancelled then which is good and this is kind of quite erratic it's been down to zero and it's been up to like six and a half hours in the last couple of minutes right let's see there we're getting what's that compressed triple a compressed double triple we're getting we're getting a triple every second or so four five six seven so this will go to eight and then Another nine seconds, and we're gonna we're gonna get a completed octopus cobble, which is kind of cool. So uh, there you go, hooray! So we should have one in here, and we have, brilliant. So that's uh, 86 million cobble we've got now generated, and I've expanded it a bit more. We're now onto five, one thousand, fifteen hundred ignis extruders. Go on, get working again, you and you. Slackers. This is quite tedious putting all these together. I must admit. A uh, little suggestion from Fred that I, uh, Fred Bobbington. I'm going to try here. I'm not sure if it's going to work. I've done. I've changed a bit. I've made another tool dynamism tablet. I can say it now. Last week in the stream, I just couldn't say that word dynamism. Um, no idea why. It's uh, easy way to say. So this is set the same as it was. Items in inventory. Red pipe signal. I've got a gate under there as well. Set. Red pipe signal equals redstone signal. This is set to right and redstone, what that set to. I've got my wonder dislocation here that I've renamed back as wonder dislocation. But in the anvil it wouldn't let me rename it that much, which is quite funny. So it's called a wonder dislocation, even though it was originally called dislocation. But yeah, you don't get that many characters in an anvil. Ah, oh, asshole. That is exactly what I didn't want to do. Um, how would I put that in there then? Uh, you see there though it took quite a bit of charge, I, don't, I, th I think this is going to take, I think it's going to wear down far too quick to be honest. Let's put it back as it wanted it to, let's, right, right what am I doing? I've broke it again, I call the breaker. Put you back, shift click, go in there with a bare hand. Redstone right, and now put the one dislocation in. Now, first thing is, I don't think this is going to regen very quick in there. The second thing is, not sure what's going to happen if it doesn't regen. Um, so let's just test it first of all with what ignis extruder. So that should place once the conditions met. That puts it in there. Of course, it keeps it in there, so we'd have, we'll have to take it out each time anyway. So it doesn't. It, it saves it into that. It doesn't actually pop it out into where. So it ain't gonna work as uh, we want it to. So as you see there, that's got one in it. So if we place that one, that's in it. Let's place it with a mountain but now it's empty and the charge is gone but it made me second the one dot there every time so it's actually quicker doing it manually like, like I have been doing it so it's worth a try it's worth a test um, another thing he suggested which is very good uh, I could use the MFFS force field to actually build these which I certainly could if I could get lava and water into them easy enough which is the problem in the first place is I could get it to build a stack of 512 nice and quick I could use a filler in fact as well to do that even easier and um, just make, you got to make sure you've got them faced the way you want but uh, I think you can do that I remember doing that with block breakers depending on which way you put the filler down is depends on which way the block breaker came I made a frame quarry like that once uh, so we could in fact make these blocks of 512 nice and quick it's just getting the water and the lava into them that'd be the problem it's a shame there's no liquid version of these I think it'd be really easy 
we could just uh, you know fasten this to uh, some tanks and pump it in mass like that uh, yeah so shame so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back how it was and uh, so I'm gonna go yeah I want that out and that out and I want that red pipe off there so let's just click that with our hand and now that wants to be turned to items in inventory is redstone signal or oh, it was before and we can put our glowstone illuminator back so now it should work as it did before so put one in there again when it's ready to come off while it comes on and we can pop it off cool so there's the next three for the next 512 but uh don't think I'm gonna do any of that at the minute. I think uh, I think I'm gonna stick with five hundred uh, with fifteen hundred for now, because you know it's see look that's gone to nine thousand all of a sudden. Weird. It fluctuates up and down. D don't know what to do with these yet. So uh, this is my thing I decided on for the transport in and out of here. I went with Miscraft portals, and I've just covered it in blocks of iron covers and strips. Just to make it a bit more industrial looking than the crystal thing. So I've not, I've, I ain't done any more, I've only done the one, but that's roughly what I've set to get down. So I've got a kind of spiral down. So that one will take you to that one. No, what? Yeah, I'll take you to in front of that one. Then one of these will take you down, one will take you up. You know? That's the idea. And what I've actually done is I've completely closed this off, this pyramid. So you can't get in here from the outside from being over here. What you do is you go through this. Where is it gone? You go through this and you pop out in the Titan in the front left tower. The Titan there. And I tried covering I tried making some chevron blocks here. But unfortunately the chevron the the uh, panels won't go over the crystal blocks. I think it treats them as glass. So you can't place the panels on the crystal blocks. You can place covers from multi-part, but you can't place panels. So I wanted that chevron pattern there. Uh, there's my, let's, say, let's call it my teleport room, which just sends you into there. There you go. Look at that, it's gone down to two grand again. Was it nine grand a minute ago? It's bizarre. How much that fluctuates, it's really crazy. You've got to think though it's making one of them a second, which means it's making nine of them a second, and making 81 of them a second. So it is processing stuff pretty quick. Is that right? Will be on it. One of them means now them means eighty one of them. Yeah. So it's making eighty one of them a second. Roughly. Weird. Right. So uh yeah, that's um all I've got done for it in there. Uh, what have we done in here then? So I've made that room, I've started off that room. I've done no building uh, what I built I destroyed my Wonder Vehicle Trade the day by not keeping an eye on it and it actually killed it. So I've had to try several times to get charging on this again. I keep scrubbing, I've kept getting frugal on it. So I kept having to scrub it off with the spellbinding cloth and get 30 levels again. So I've been studying my bees, getting cheaty levels. And I've got that back to a charge again so I can carry on building the Titan because I need I need a Wonder Vehicle Trade for that really. In this room, I brought across the potions. Let's sleep because it's night time. There you go. You've seen that, the way I fall, minus 200, minus 300, I kind of fall through a void when I'm asleep, it's, my guy must, my Steve must have nightmares, uh, so yeah, I brought the potions over here, I tried, no, I brought the miscraft stuff as well, now if you remember, I did this in my last series, I've not actually shown it in this one, what I've got here is, I've got a liquid crafter, and next to that, under that, under that block there, there's a liquid tesseract, water, from my water plant, um, so that puts water into here. If you put this pattern in there, two ink sacks, a glass bottle, and you let it know that it needs a, it requires a bucket of water, and that makes an ink vial. And this needs a redstone pulse for it to work. So what I've got is that's a trap chest, not a normal chest. Trap chest. So every time I open the chest and go in here for anything, it just passively that I've gone to the nah, now. Now look, each time I go in there, it just passively creates another vial of ink. So. When I double miss craft, I'm in and out of that chest quite a bit. You see, it's got leather in there. I don't know why it's got a wonder fire in there, to be honest. What are you doing in there? Yeah. Um, 
Very strange. I put that with my other Farmcraft stuff. So yeah, that's a nice little passive way of making yourself ink vials when yeah you want. I actually tried it over here as well for making just water vials, but it won't. It really don't have it. You cannot make it craft just bottles of water. So that's a shame. So I may set up something like what I've done in my own hinge with a dispenser and a redstone signal to uh, fill up water bottles. So I was just testing that yesterday. Uh, what I want to do is at some point, maybe this episode is try the MFR potion brewer because I've never played with it. I just want to see what it's like. It's on the list there. In fact, the list, we can do the list, is take off upgrade Darkcraft because that's done with, isn't it? So let's get rid of that. Upgrade Darkcraft. Transvector stuff just means I wanted to actually test out how many things I can get on a transvector interface for a induction fan if I was going to go. If I was going to try two import buses, no, no, two, two precision export buses, two ME interfaces and one precision import bus, so five sides of the transvector. I don't think you can put power on through it and I'm not sure if you can put a redstone signal through it, but um, I was going to try testing that out. I may, I may get that set up in a bit. Uh, bees, I do want to do that. I'm thinking that if we go look at the quickest way of getting outside, that way, let's go through here, out here. Um, if you look at how much manilium I've got in there, it really is low still because it doesn't make much. I've only got one bee making it. And you've got to remember that 144 milli buckets is an actual ingot, so that is a lot of ingots, but it's still going to take ages to fill that tank. So I might make some more some more manilium bees. I might make like a, a ridiculous amount of bees down on the bottom floor of there. I might just fill that with aloe vera's. And bring all the other bees, give them all a uh, ME control. Might do logistic pipes with them, just for the sake of it. And just whatever space I've got, just add loads more millennium bees. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, and that's something to get on with. But other than that, I've got no real no real plans here at the minute. And there, there also brewer. Let's have a look at the auto brewer. Let's uh, see what it's about. It's MFR. There's a few auto things. There's a auto enchanter, which we've got. Auto jukebox, which I've actually got as well. I don't think I ever did that on camera though. Auto spawner, which we've got. Auto disenchanter, which we've got. Auto anvil, auto brewer, the tool that I hadn't tried. Eh, let's make both of these. Right, I'll make these, and I'll be back in a second when I've met them, and we'll have a look what they do. Okay then, so yeah, back, and I've been an auto brewer, and I've made a auto anvil which we'll talk about in just a minute now i had to stop recording yesterday i've got a real bad eye and uh, i can't really see out my right eye it's all swollen up and i don't know what's going on i think my nephew may have caught me with his fingernail when we was messing around on the set the other day so i pretend i'm asleep and he hits me in the face to wake me up and i think he may have caught my eye so i, was, I had to stop recording yesterday because i just couldn't see uh, it's still pretty bad this is now monday morning so this video is going to be uploaded but uh yeah, so what I did, I did do, I did keep playing yesterday, but I was just doing tech, taking things a bit easy and not really recording. I made the gun. I'm not sure if I like it yet, but uh, there we go. I've done the gun with iron blocks and with reinforced stone blocks. Uh, I'll put some train tracks. There. I'm going to put some vertical tracks down here as well. I don't know if I like that or not either, but there we go. We've got kind of got one gun done. I've made, I made it a little bit different than I was going to do. I need to bulk this up, I think, a bit. And I think I'm going to put some kind of like, like a shoulder, maybe three thick, around the back of the gun. Uh, I see I've kind of diverged quite a bit from the proper Titan design here, from the one that I was using a picture of, but partly because a lot of them, the guns are down here. It's actually slung down. The, the shoulders come out and then the gun's slung down off that, but a little bit more, a bit more of that there. Um, I don't think I'm going to get a chance to finish this before I go away, so uh, I might have to do a bit of this when I get back, which hopefully I'm open as a 1.6 pack out, so I may have to finish the Titan once I've actually finished this set, uh, this Let's Play, but I will, I'll, I'll keep the Let's Play, I'll do, um, if, I, if that is the case, if I do have to finish this afterwards, I'll do a separate video just on the Titan build, you know, uh, anyway, so... What I've done inside the base here is, first of all, I've run power up, up to it. This is one of the problems, this is one of the things I've done wrong with this, by the way, <coughs> excuse me, is 
I should have, as I was building upwards, I should have been putting IC2 power, build craft power, and ME cable through the walls as I was building up. Now, the fact that I've neglected doing it while I was doing it makes it a lot harder now. So I've built up through the walls. If you look behind there, you see we've got conduit on both sides of the Titan coming up. So this side's the same. There you go, look. So I've had to run through the walls. Uh, in fact, if you look on the outside, you can see we've actually had to touch on the outside a little bit, which could have been neater, if I'm being honest. Uh, you can see it there. There's a bit of conduit showing. And this side, I've actually got I've had a bit of conduit showing there as well. So there is some breaches in the outside armour, which I'm not massively happy with, if I'm being honest. The ones I did there was kind of on purpose, but <coughs> in hindsight, I don't really like the look of it. I prefer if it was all just clean. So, yeah, it's a shame. Again, I really wish conduits would uh, accept facades, you know. And IC2 cables would accept facades, but yeah, we can't have everything, can we? So, I've run power up to both these sides. The auto, the auto anvil's pretty straightforward. It's just, uh, you have two slots for combining stuff. For example, if I wanted to put, is there anything I can put on this efficiency for? Can I make these efficiency 5 with a book? Let's have a look. Have I got efficiency here? Uh, no, I have on this side. Yeah, I have a look. Will you become efficiency 5 in an anvil? Uh, let's see. Will become efficiency 5, but ain't got enough levels. So 16 levels, you see that's turning from efficiency 4 to efficiency 5. So that's in a normal anvil. So what I can do with the auto anvil, it's got mob essence. So I've got a liquid tesseract behind it, feeding it mob essence. So if I put in my axle stream and oops, and a book in there, no, nope, that's not, nope, it's working. Look, so let's. I hope I don't fuck this up. We'll see, it's quite, it's quite slow, so it's taking power and it's taking mob essence. And it should be unbreaking 3, repair 2, silt touch 1, efficiency 5 once done. If it works, I'll do my shovel as well. That as well. So this is testing. This is uh, me possibly ruining my axe if it doesn't work as I think it does. The other one, the auto jukebox, I've got back at the other base. I just upgraded my jukebox one day. Because it's a 6 3, but it's a plastic and a machine frame. And a jukebox, which I had anyway. Um, I don't know if you can automate records in and out of it. You probably can using turtles, I guess. Oh, come on, just the last thing. And if this works, we'll come back. Oh, I'll put that in, I'll come back and get this later. Uh, could have gone with lift music. I could have gone with some mining by moonlight. But too late now. We've got efficiency 5 on breaking 3. So basically, you can use your mob essence instead of using your levels. So we'll do that and we'll leave it to it. Right, so on this side, however, it's a bit different. So I've run power under here. Now, this is actually quite automatable. Autumn, is that right? Automatable, but it's kind of it's kind of weird how this thing works. Now, I think to automate this, well, ideally you'd probably need one of these for each portion you want, and um, I think using a mixture of uh, ME network and logistics pipes would be the best way to go. Using supplier pipes, what you can do is right. It's, it's kind of tricky to explain it. Uh, let me do it with a hopper. We do it with a hopper. We should have a hopper down here somewhere. So a picture of the hopper as my inputs, for example. And uh, we'll take. Uh, no, our power's going underneath it. We can't really. Um, yes, we can. I'll move things around a little bit. Let's take that one as well, and let's get a chest. Uh, Turn that gold one to a diamond one. Why not? So if I come up here, and uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the power line behind it instead of on top of it. Let me down, please. Damn super walkie boots. 
We'll put the power in there, which already makes it look a bit scruffy. And then I am going to put my chest there. And my hopper there. And we'll put a hopper on top. There we go. So we can use this for testing. So for example, if there's nothing in here, if I was to put a water bottle in, it's going to come straight through. It's going to end up in there. No, it's not even putting it in. Is it because... Why are you not putting? Let's get a couple more bottles. Now, what I said earlier as well, the easiest way of actually getting water into bottles is if you've got a liquid test right nearby, just put a portable tank on top and then you can just right click the portable tank to get a uh, water bottles nice and quick. So I don't have to have a three block water source. This could actually, this liquid crafter can get out of the way to be honest. Get out of the way you. Uh, I'll throw that back in the way I mean that way, but there we go. Uh, because I've got a liquid tester right there for this one, for making the ink valves, just be a portable tank on top, you can just quickly right click with water bottles and then you're laughing really. Uh, so if we put... Right, let's look at a portion. Let's say we want to make health 2, instant health 2 splash potions. So it takes gunpowder, before that it takes glowstone, before that it takes glistening melon, before that it takes nether wart. So we would want nether wart, glistening melon, glowstone, gunpowder. So if we put a bit of a... There we go, right, okay. So that wasn't ticking anything. So the thing was staying in the hopper because it had nowhere to go, because I didn't have anything set there, yeah? So now we've got something set there, if I was to put nether wart in the hopper as well, the nether wart would know which resource to go into. So it's actually going to... Now, see, it changed that. It's changing these water bottles. It's actually taking them. It's making them to awkward portions. They're actually getting put in there at the minute because we've got no second thing for it to do. That makes sense. So it's going to put all the nether water in there. It's used all the water bottles up, and because they've got nothing, there's no secondary thing there. It's just uh, it sent them out the hopper into the chest because we we haven't asked for it to do anything else. All we've asked it to do. Let me just rest again. All we've asked it to do there is make awkward portions. Yeah. Um. So you may have noticed I put the glistening melons in there as well. They haven't actually gone down because they're not set in the thing there. So if now we've set them, glistening melon will come in. And they'll only fill up as much as this three resource thing. So I could end up, if I was, if I had a um, ME precision export bus set to export water bottles, nether wart, and glistening melon, this would fill whenever the water, so would this, and the water bottles would keep coming through. And if we put the awkward portions back in now, at the top, because they've got a place where they can go, awkward, awkward, awkward. See, that's going to go... No, that's okay, that's gone bad. What we need to do then, we're going to have to manually put them there for now. So you need to do the entire cycle of what you want to do. So that'll disappear. Will you move down? No, you, no, you won't. So that's the next one that came in. But I don't I hope I'm explaining this well enough. Um But it did move them down. Look, so they've they because I fed one in first to show you where it wanted to go. But that was using up the ones that we had there. So they're now portions of health one. To make them to health tools we'd need glowstone and to make them to splash portions we'd want gunpowder. So now we can throw glowstone and gunpowder in there. Get our three awkward portions, uh, our three portions of healing back. We'll chuck them in there as well. Where are you going to end up? So we want this guy to go there. And move this one down as well. And they should move down. So it's going it, to, when it finishes its cycle, they all move down one. So that's the health two, and then it become a splash, which will end up in the chest. So that'll disappear. So there we go. Now we're automated. So let me make 
about me following this. So as you can see, it could be quite easy once you've got applied energistics up there. The fact I've not got my wiring up there makes it a bit shit. Glistening melon. Let's have. Let's have a let's full stack of them. Nether wart. Let's scrub a bit of that. Uh, what else was the glowstone? And gunpowder. Well, was gunpowder, have I? We've not had a creeper spawner, that's why. No glist. Sick all them. So now, if we had a bus set, for example, that uh, so we can put all these in here. It's going to take time, of course. Oh, we could also just manually bang them in there. See, so yeah, I put. Thing, uh, I put that in, it's in the wrong slot, so it kicks it back out again. So it's actually because I put them in the wrong slot, it's going to kick them out into there, look. So that's putting them straight down into there because they shouldn't be where they are. If we put the right things into the right slots, they'll actually stay where they are. So if we put that there, that should stop happening. So, because this video is going to be up there, I'm not going to bother wiring this up on camera. I may wire this up off camera so, uh, so it all works. It'll mean change this room around a bit. And I do need to get my ME network up onto this floor. That's why we've been using the portable thing over here, because we're not wired up to this this level. I've been a bit of a... Yeah, a bit of a cock up not doing it like that. Not plumbing and wiring in as I was going. I always remember that if you build a house. Uh, so we've got our splash portions of instant health there. Could also feed these straight into one of these, you know. And I think that should con the hopper should connect to one of these. Should we try it? Um, I've got an empty one. I have. Let's see if the hopper would connect to that. So you could, in theory, could you, in theory, let's have a look. So. What you'd actually do, see, so they've got things stuck in the hopper because them slots are all full, which is what you'd expect it to do. If we were to put some water bottles in here now, let's have three water bottles, and it should go through all the process, each time moving down one. And there you go, you've got automated, you've got automated things. So ideally you want it so that you've got a supplier pipe feeding in all your resources that you want for each one so this would just be just be for splash potion healing so, so you need one for each thing you want to keep stock of really so it's not it, it could be better i think um chillum's logistics pipes method on his let's play is actually really thorough because that does everything uh, as you see working down is it and look at that it's actually putting them into the rack so you, you could have Export buses set up behind your racks here. Export bus with a facade. And you could have it so that I'm pretty sure you could have a redstone signal that detects when the rack's full or when there's space on the rack and it'll send a water bottle. So you could always have full racks. That is something I'll probably do off camera. Um, I'll probably do that between this episode and next if I do decide to do it. And uh, if I can get it working, I'll show you next time. But that's a quite a good idea, isn't it? Have it so that if you take a portion off the shelf, that's one way of doing it, of course. Uh, the way Chillum's done it is also very good. He's got it feeding it into a um, ender chest. He's got an ender pouch matched to it. So if he takes a portion out of the ender pouch, pardon me, I just uh, punched my mic, I'm trying to give my eye a wipe. Um, if he takes portions out of his ender chest then they get automatically replaced by his automated logistics pipe system but, um, there we go we've made some splash portions and it's just a case of throwing water in there but yeah you could get it so it sends it sends a bottle of water um if you s I was, that's a water still there i was trying to get the uh i was trying to see if that thing would work liquid crafter with a water still it didn't i made a water still using me uh you you matter of course well, there we go, that's the MFR Auto Brewer that I've never used before. I just wanted to show you that. Now, let's go quickly check. 
Because the server's been running overnight. Look at that. Just in time to see the third one. So it's taken as long as it's taken the time for a full um a full octuple since you last saw me since I started this episode. So in about eight seconds time we're gonna get our third octuple compressed and um there we go. And it'll be in there with that one. Hooray! Right, I'm gonna cut the camera there, I'm gonna see how long the video is. I probably am gonna wrap up, but I'll check if it's not too short. Uh, I'm going to go rest my eye and not look at my screen all day. So, uh, back in a sec. Okay, then I'm back, and the video is, is up to about 30 minutes. Um, sorry it's not as good as usual. I think it's pretty poor quality of video, but as I've mentioned several times, my eye is really in tatters. I noticed doing them potions, I have got a gap in my resources, and that gap is gunpowder. So I'm going to put gunpowder into there and set that to 8128. 8128. I've made a storage cell for gunpowder back in my main base in the Titan and what I've done is I've made it I've used I've actually used Darkcraft yet and I've made a force sword and I've given it soul steel of five so that was five of these soul wafers which of course you make by capturing cow essences and I actually worked out how to use a belt thing as well yeah, if you put the belt on your belt there if I look inside there you can see that I've got a rod of holding on number one so if I just go and find an animal, and I know where there is one, there's a cow in my little thing over here, isn't he? If I've got the belt on there, if I was to capture this cow, I've just got to press 1 on the control pad. Boop. There we go, it's captured, and it spits a bottled cow out into the inventory for me. So uh, that's how that works. That doesn't go in there, does it? No. So it takes a bottle from out of here, and because I press 1 on the rudder hold, it's on 1, uh, on my number pad, that is control pad I said tonight I meant number pad then that's how that's how the belt works so uh, it's pretty useful I guess especially for the teleport ones if you was so inclined to use that but I am not going to use that myself uh, right so what I've done then is I went into the mining age and I clipped a creeper with this well, I clipped it twice and it got it down to two health then I punched it because I'd clipped it with that it was burned so it couldn't explode I punched it, got it to one health, and then I captured it inside a reusable safari net, which I've thrown in there. So we've got a creeper with one health in there, so if I lock myself in here now. So yeah, this bin, this sword then, so it had five soul wafers to get soul seal of five. It had one back claw to get sharpness two, one spider eye to get burn, and one air shard to get repair on it. So that was the eight things that went into that. And it gets me this nice sword, so now I can turn this guy on and I've got creepers that die in one it and each one of these is giving me six one for the soul shard five for the sword each one of these is giving me six um, souls it's got to be pretty quick with this with one eye shut as well and I can get myself a full soul shard pretty quick using this method because instead of 1,024 kills, it's like 200 odd kills. Which isn't so bad at all, really. Oh shit. What's he doing out there? At least he can't see me. Best turn this off. I should have really labelled them here. Where is it stopped? Yeah, it stopped. should have really, really labelled them. So that I know which one's which. If you turn the wrong one on, uh, you'd start spawning with no cage around you. So there, um, I'm up to 150. I killed a few before I came on, but uh, I think I was up to 48. So that got me like 102 kills towards that. So I'll fill that up off camera and I'll put them in. I'll, once that's filled, all I need to do is drop the soul shard into there, put some quartz glass into the hole. And then that'll also spawn until it's got 8,128 8, gunpowder in my system. So uh, there's that little resource hole plugged. So I'm going to wrap up the video there. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you join me next time. Um, yeah, I'm not, I I'm not sure what I'm going to do next time. I think I will look into sorting out that auto uh, brewing thing a bit. But anyway, I'll, I'll decide, and uh, I hope to see you then. Cheers. Bye.